But now we got D23. And what's funny is when it comes to D23, this guy, this guy right here, I mean, there's been, uh, this guy has been rumored that he might be something with Marvel over here. So that's what's so crazy about this whole thing. So if you guys were wondering, obviously, you know, it starts like what? Uh, this Friday, Thursday, Friday, D23? Over here, yeah, September 9th. Friday, September 9th. So let's see. We got this. Uh, we got Total Film or Game Radar right here. The schedule and everything right off the bat. Hey, look at that. We got, uh, hey, we got Lois right here at least. Miss Amy Adams looking gorgeous right there. Enchan uh, what is it? Enchantress? Uh, Enchantress? Enchantment? Whatever the hell it's called. The sequel. My God. I don't know titles. But uh, if you're wondering what's happening on Friday, September 9th, well, we're going to have Disney Legends Awards Ceremony. That's right. The Simpsons panel is happening. ABC's Home Economics panel. Disney and Marvel Games Showcase. There you go. At 2.30 Pacific Standard Time. And then we got the all-new Mickey Mouse Club. Oof. And then a reunion. Huh. Is Britney Spears going to show up to that? Justin Timberlake? <laughs> and then Saturday, September 10th, which, of course, will be the big day. Uh, it says Marvel Studios, Marvel Studios, Lucasfilm and 20th Century Studios panel, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Possibility I might live stream during it. I don't know. Haven't decided yet, but that's going to be the big one right there. Predictions when it comes to uh, when it comes to what they're going to show. Maybe they're going to reveal the cast of Fantastic Four. That'd be interesting, and, you know, I mean, it's already been kind of revealed where, like, a name on the table that possibly, and what's kind of funny, too, is, like, they have the Hyperion, you know, stage right there. It's called the Hyperion stage, and uh, when it comes to Henry Cavill, obviously, we know the character that he was rumored for that some people even said that possibly be over at Marvel, but when I heard, when I heard the name on the table that it was possibly, hey— what if he ends up being Dr. Doom and Fantastic Four? I thought that was actually kind of cool. By no means, again, this is not an exclusive, guys. No fucking scoops or anything like that. It's just something, name on the table, character possibly. And then when I heard about that, I was like, oh my God, that sounds, that would be crazy. Henry Cavill, Dr. Doom, that'd be insane. Because, you know, all Fantastic Four doesn't come out to the end of 2024. And then most likely Dr. Doom will be the big baddie after the Kang Dynasty, Secret Wars. Huh, that would be uh, different. Definitely different. So, you know, maybe he could do both, but probably not. I don't know. And then Marvel's Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur panel. So that'll be all right there. Disney's Epic Entertainment Showcase. Bob's Burgers will be there. Magic in the Air. Muppets. Yep. Disney Plus Series. Proud Family. Um, is this continue? Oh, this is on Sunday. Uh, VF, uh, FX, um, American Horror Story, Behind the Screams, all that right there. And, uh, yeah, what announcements we expect? Yeah, they're talking about all that. But the biggest thing is, like, uh, when it comes to Marvel Studios releasing, uh, we're going to get some more trailers. Prob we probably will not get anything more when it comes to Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Maybe we'll get an image or something from Blade. Deadpool 3, that'd be cool to get something from that, get an update on that. That'd be sweet. Uh, we're going to get something from Ahsoka, maybe. We'll probably get some, uh, maybe some more footage, maybe the release footage, because apparently they did show some footage, I think, of that during Comic-Con, maybe some Mandalorian Season 3. Who knows? And then, of course, remember, we've got 20th Century uh, Studios. Are they going to show some Avatar clips? Is there going to be something from Indiana Jones? Who knows? A lot of things up in the air, but, uh, you know, I mean, I think it would be, I, I think even Kevin Feige said they didn't even, remember, like, when it came to Comic-Con, there was a lot of spots on their slate that had dates, but nothing was announced. So I'm kind of wondering, are they going to announce those, those dates? They're going to put titles on those dates. They might be doing that. And I think D23 would be a good place to... Um, Reveal the cast of Fantastic Four. It'd be pretty sweet. John Krasinski just shows right up, but he's filming a movie right now, so it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. But, you know, according to Kevin Feige, that was kind of just like a, a fan cast. Or no, according to um, Sam Raimi, that was just kind of like a fan cast thing. So the Reed Richards, we might get a whole different Reed Richards that shows up, but we might get the whole gang, the director, 
a Doctor Doom, and if, I swear to God, if it's if it's Cavill, that'd be pretty insane. But you know, I mean, odds are probably not. But then again, who knows? But that would that would blow up the internet. And the thing is, you know, that's the thing. Henry Cavill, there's a lot of value around him. He's a star. He's a star. That's why it's like, come on, somebody lock him down at least. But um, yeah, so it's gonna be uh, yeah. Hopefully, we get an Indiana Jones teaser. I'm really hoping for that, and I think we will. I think they might actually show an Indiana Jones teaser trailer, and that'd be pretty sweet. You know, that'd be pretty sweet. I think that would be good. I think that'd be good, and I think that's going to happen. Avatar, they'll show something with that too. But uh, yeah, when it comes to Marvel Studios, Fantastic Four, that's what everybody's going to be looking at right there. So there you go. There's the schedule, predictions. I don't know. I probably won't do a live stream. In the morning, seems like that's crazy, but I'll do uh, reactions, but maybe I'll do a live stream. I don't know. Depends on how I feel. After a vodka stream, you know, sometimes I'm waking up like, oh, somebody give me a breakfast burrito. Mm-hmm.